Welcome to a video on learning RenPy. In this video, I'm going to cover editing the GUI file. The GUI file, like other files within RenPy, can be accessed from the RenPy 7 launcher. We select a project from the left hand side, in this case the question. Over here on the right hand side, under edit file, we select the file we want to edit. In this case, GUI. It then loads in the editor of our choice. In this case, I'm running Atom. We see here some initialization options, and then we see the first of a long list of GUI configuration variables. Within this file are all of the options for changing the colors, the fonts, the font sizes, the layouts, the positioning, and everything else you might think of for defining the graphic user interface as part of the visual novel. In, in this case, and as a good example, the code here provides everything that defines the question. So we see here accent color, idle color, idle small color, hover color, selected color, and a long list of different colors here, as well as, as I said, font sizes and different fonts, and the files that define the game menu and the main, or the main menu and the game menu, defined notice as part of the GUI folder and the file name, as part of the GUI folder and their file name right here, defined as part of the project. We can also define dialog options, button options, choice button options, file slot buttons, positioning and spacing for everything, frames, bars, scroll bars and sliders, history screen, NVL mode, as well as how it appears on mobile devices. Again, this file is accessed as part of the RenPy 7 launcher. Clicking on the file like I did will open this in an editor and we can change these files. The number of different options provided, colors, fonts, font sizes, positioning, spacing, all of the things for different screens, allow us to customize our project to our liking. We just edit these files and then we can relaunch our project from the launch project option within the RenPy 7 launcher. We can change all of these like we were changing the script files or options files to customize things to our liking. Again, as a review, we can open the GUI file as part of the RenPy 7 launcher. We select the project from the left hand side, click the file we want to open on the right hand side. In this case, we're looking at GUI and we can change any of the different GUI configuration options, save that file, relaunch the project and to see those changes. This allows us to easily customize things to our liking, changing the colors, the fonts, the font sizes, the spacing and positioning, all to what we want for our own project. Thanks for watching.